When you go into the gym and you pick exercises, depending on what exercises you pick, you have what we call different types of training. So keep in mind for circuit training, there's a section in the booklet on circuit training. Rest intervals become a very important factor, but the reality of having someone take rest intervals depends on the reality of how serious they are. Very few athletes are going to do a bench press, stand and wait two to three minutes. Yes, we know that rest intervals are good. Yes, we know they work. What I try to do with people, but people are lazy. So what I try to do with my fitness people and my athletes is I use a lot of circuit training. So if they go from an upper body exercise to a center of the body exercise to a lower body exercise, or try to combine the different exercises, they could be doing a bench press and maybe abdominals. They could be doing squats and calves. They can combine the exercises so they can keep moving and have some rest interval between sets. As athletes get more and more serious, of course, they will rest more. But in our day and age today, it's really hard to get people to rest. Keep it in mind, because if you force it on an athlete or a trainee and they get really bored with it, they'll quit. So we have to be really careful how we use it. Circuit training is a great answer. Many of you have read a lot of Tudor stuff on gimmicks of training and a lot of my stuff on core training. The big cool thing now is core training. Again, from a strength point of view, you've seen my blog, you've seen the things I talked about. Why do we train the abdominal muscles any different than any other muscle? Why don't we do strength training for abdominals? Why don't we use lower back? You never see anything on lower back. Everybody wants to do a million different exercises for the core. But do they need them? And that's what you have to start to look at. Are they really important? I watched one video where they were talking about transverse abdominus. And it must have taken them a half hour to do just transverse abdominus. Now, I don't know many athletes that have this time. So when you're talking about these really sophisticated core exercises, they, do, they use no resistance. It takes them a half hour to 45 minutes to do these programs. And you have to really ask why they're doing them. A lot of these programs, if you look at history, history has dictated that, for instance, a lot of stuff comes from the Russians and the East Germans. That's all they had to do. They didn't have fancy weight equipment. They didn't have all the computers we had nowadays. They did a lot of million exercises, and the athletes that held up, they, stuck, they hung around. The other thing that you're going to see when we talk about choosing 